Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a function to update and delete as well as I'm going to show you how to solve the cost issue, how to enable it in the back end rather than just like put it or enable the um, cost on the front end. So now let's get started. I'm going to show you or I'm going to write a function on how to update our um, existing database all right so now i have already created one function to um, update the cost by using the cost id so now let's um, look into it so here i use the router dot patch so this one we will have the ability to update that and here it's quite similar to the one that i use above here so this one is um, using the uh, give it a name as cost id and this is the same as the previous one which is the um, asynchronous so here is the try and this is the catch and i get the cost id which is coming from here put it into a variable of id and then i await that i use the cost dot this one coming from the uh, model and uh, i use a function called update one then i put it into this variable updated cost uh, with that, I use the ID coming from here and right here, this is the field coming from the database. So I'm going to show you in the postman. So here you go. This is the postman. Uh, you can see that there's a field uh, says underscore ID, which is the uh, Mongo object ID. So uh, we use that one here. By then, uh, I use a keyword uh, dollar sign dot uh, set. Um, right here inside here whatever that we want to update so i use a request which is from here dot id uh, dot body dot cost and this line of code here mean that i want to update the uh, cost wheel so here inside the uh, postman uh, whatever that's coming from the data that we want to update we just put it right there and it's going to change it inside this field which is the cost that is required by using the um, dollar sign set. And if we successfully update the data, then um, we're gonna show a message of um, status of 200 and in JSON format. And this is the data that we uh, actually uh, successfully get it updated. And if not, we're going to show the error of 500 and this is what error that gonna show it onto our screen. So now let's test it on the postman to see if this uh, function is actually working. So now I click on this get to get a list of data. Then I want to update, um, which is this one here, the last one, the um, node uh, JS Express MongoDB uh, 08. So to do that, I'm going to copy the object ID and paste it right there and change this to patch. And I will go to the um, body and say I want to change this to number nine and click on the send button to see if we actually get it updated. So here you can see that um, it says modify one, meaning that the uh, update is already successful with the status of 200 as well. So now to see if that actually get it updated, I just change it to um, get request and see if we get the data updated here. So uh, we have already successfully do that. The thing is that you see that the text um, doesn't get updated because inside our code here, um, I only have one, which is the cost right there. So to do or to change that, we can do something like um, tag request dot body dot tag, which is from this field. So just to show you, this is what we're gonna do. Um, there's one issue as well. So let's say um, I declare two like this, but then I only want to update one field, but not two. So then um, if you want to see how I'm going to do it, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll show you how to do that using the uh, if else conditions. And now I just uh, want to show you just one, which is this field, updated the cost field. All right, so here uh, we have the data updated and then I just want to change here and show you a list of data to so which is you can see that this one's get updated so that's um, 
sit for the uh, update method inside the Node.js using Express. Now, uh, last one here is to update or to actually delete the data that we want using the uh, cost ID as well. So see you guys in a, a minute. So to delete a data, uh, it's quite similar to the post and the code even less than that. So here I have uh, used the um, delete right there, router.delete and then this the cost ID and here inside the try, um, I just call the uh, cost ID coming from that with the params and put it into a variable and here the cost model uh, dot remove which is the ability that we can remove the data and here the same which is coming from the above and this is the field inside our uh, database uh, you can already see it in the postman and whatever that the cost that we get it updated we put it into this variable and show it to the user with the status of 200 which is the success um, status and otherwise we're going to show this error so now um, I'm going to uh, show you in the postman and how to delete the data. So to delete the data, uh, the same, I'm going to uh, use the last one here as well with this ID. I'm going to put it here. So I need to change this uh, request method to delete um, request. Then I can, what I can do uh, before doing that, I just want to show you uh, an invalid data. So we're gonna see the error, something like this, the 500 error, then um, we fail to get the object ID, or I change it back and put it to something else uh, into the, you can see that this is the uh, no data available inside this, um, uh, object ID so it's so something like uh, delete count equals zero so I'm going to change this back to the previous one which is here and this one going to send us the 200 status of um, success and here we can see that the deleted count equal to one which means that the data has already been uh, deleted so now I'm going to uh, get a request to see if it still exists so you can see that there is no data that available right now also this one as well get a list of data and here you can see the last one which is number eight or has been deleted so that's how we create a uh, update and also delete inside our node.js and next one i'm going to show you how to solve the cost issue by enable the um, cost inside our uh, back end rather than just like uh, bypass the cost issue with the front end all right so to enable the uh, cost in the back end or in the um, uh, express so we're going to use this package it is a node.js package that uh, provide connect or the express middleware that can be used to enable the cost with the very option so um, we will use this uh, package and you can see that how popular it is it's more than two millions uh, downloads already for this week. Now let's do it on the our um, Node.js right here. So to do that, I'm going to uh, open my terminal, and then I'm going to stop this. And here I'm going to install the npm install with that package name, which is cost. Now let's wait it until it finishes downloading. All right, so now it's been downloaded. I'm going to do the npm start to start the server again. All right, so now it's starting listening on port 5000 connected to the database. And then I'm going to uh, change or add some code right here in our app.js and see you guys in a few seconds. All right, so first thing first, uh, what we need to do, we need to import um, the cost, which is the one that we just um, installed. So here, uh, put it into this variable cost, and then what's next is to actually put it right down there, um, the apps.use. And before doing that, I just want to show you what the error uh, message is so that you understand uh, why it caused that issue and stuff. All right, so to show you what the error look like, um, this is the previous um, tutorial on how to create like a React app with the dropdown and stuff. And I'm going to test it on this um, 
in this video and to show you what the course is like and now let me show you the code if you haven't watched um, some of the tutorial um, it's available on my YouTube channel so you can go and have a look there then um, here it is so this is the code uh, what I did right here I want to retrieve a list of courses uh, which is the one that you see on the postman which the uh, localhost 5000 API dot, uh, slash courses so which is the same as this one and then what I try to do I try to get a list of that data and put it into a variable so this is the uh, cost cost dot uh, data and put it into this variable and uh, eventually set it to the um, set cost and it will store inside these uh, courses using the react hooks so um, when we get that I just loop through all of this using the dot map uh, to see a list of uh, cost data so here uh, this is each cost and we try to access that so this is the uh, I can change this to um, just to make it uh, unique uh, using this key otherwise we're gonna get some error as well and uh, this is the object ID and here is the uh, cost dot cost so this cost right here it coming from the uh, postman so which is this field and this is the tag field so which is right here so um, I have already implemented that here so uh, let's go back to our uh, react and then try to inspect that to see if we can uh, see that uh, error that I try to say so here it is uh, we can see that access to this uh, local host 5000 which is this URL and coming from the origin so right here this is running on host 3000 the react app has been blocked by uh, cost policy so no access control uh, allow origin header is present on the presented uh, res uh, resource so that's the issue that we are not able to uh, retrieve the data from uh, the database running on the uh, port 5000 and this is because we haven't um, enabled that on uh, our back end using the node.js in this case and that's a reason why we have this uh, issue so to be able to enable the cost uh, with the back end so what we can do that's what I will show uh, when you how to do that so here is the uh, application that I have declared right there so using the cost and uh, we can enable the cost uh, inside um, here the middleware so whatever the request is going to come it's going to look through this middleware first so what I can do I just use this um, also I'm going to try to use the cost uh, right here so uh, just two line of code then we're gonna uh, get rid of the issue so uh, I need to uh, see the terminal to see if it's connecting so yes here it is and now let me go back to our uh, react to see if we can um, solve this problem I can try to refresh this and now let's see if we can get that so here you go um, here this is dog so here uh, is coming from the dog API which is uh, coming from here and now let me scroll down you can see that this is a list of um, data coming from the database so node express uh, db2345 up to uh, 7 which is exactly the one that we see right here so that's how we solve the issue of um, having the cost so the other way around uh, like I show you in the previous video um, so here uh, we, this is one option we enable that in the back end if um, the back end doesn't enable this by default then what we can do uh, inside our react apps which is similar to this one right here so this is the uh, slash user and uh, this slash api bread uh, image uh, random so you can see the links quite different so this is we use the uh, whole url the complete url i just put it right there and this one here we just use the uh, last bit without the uh, front uh, bit right there so we can also solve that issue if it's not enable by default we can just put it inside the uh, app dot use proxy and this is the target which is the one that we know already so 
we can just put like HTTP dot this front bit localhost 5000 inside here and we just put it uh, slash which is the last bit here API uh, courses so that how we can solve this issue and using this library HTTP proxy uh, with the warrior and I think that uh, pretty much it for this tutorial and We've been looking through how to uh, create an API from scratch and this is the fifth video which is the final video already and we learn how to um, create a course uh, also how to get a course a specific course with the course ID that we can search and this is the post how to create uh, data and this is the part how to uh, edit and we look into how to delete as well and last one uh, which is we enable the um, cost uh, with the back end right there and I think um, that's all for this uh, video series using uh, Express uh, MongoDB as well as the uh, Node.js and if you got any question uh, let me know if you want to also see the um, how to actually uh, do this and make it as optional when we try to uh, patch or try to update the data let me know and see you guys in the next video and in the next video is going to be something else uh, we already uh, done this series of tutorial see you guys in the next video